What's, What's good, good gang? gang? It's your boy E. It's your girl Michaela. And welcome back to another reaction. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Okay. Yeah, it's something different. We said we was going to come back with some different-ish. Because I know y'all tired of NBA Young Boy. I know y'all not tired of NBA Young Boy. I don't know why I said it. Just SML and NBA Young Boy together, just 24-7. Like, I know y'all still out, like so those different. content. But I know y'all want to see different. Like, is that all y'all react to? Is that all y'all know? I'm trying to switch it up. You it kind of is sweat. because we don't be on YouTube like that. But if y'all drop some stuff in the comments and be like, we want to try to react to this, we going to try to react to it. Definitely will. But if it's blocked, it ain't nothing we can do about it. <laughs> you know we can do. But anyway, before we get into this um, video, we are reacting to the Kodak Black and Jack Boy, the beef that split Snapper Gang apart. And they both was... Legit. They good, was tight. Good music. Yeah. They both still got good music, but I'll together... You, I, I used to be Snapper Gang back the hey, <laughs> I know, you still got the clothes. Hey, you was trying hey. to get the damn bear. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen, boy, listen. I, she cussed me out because I was trying to get the bear, the bear for my son. Trying to get the bear for the son. Why are you trying to buy my bear this damn one out there? Right, one of <laughs> Thomas, so that look worse than Chucky. Hey, listen, snap, hey. Oh, my God. Hey, but that was a snap back then, boy. Look, snapper, look, 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 hey, boy, you played football, boy. You had a little, little snapper game ski, man. What, what? Anyway. Boy, you had the orange sleeve <laughs> sniper game. You were legit. Anyway, y'all, y'all into that sniper stuff. Y'all know what he's talking about. But anywho, I see him wearing man, it, man. but I care less for it. Man, they know what's going on. They know what's going on. <laughs> Before I get to this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on post notification bell. Go ahead and comment down in the comment section which y'all else y'all would like to see us react to. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah, we ain't even gonna hold y'all. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and let's get into it. For real, because sometimes I'm, I, don't even, I don't even know what they had going on. They beef. Kodak Black and Jack Boy were day one homies who came up in the trenches I together. thought it was something about Christian, but instead of taking over the rap game together, they sparked a crazy beef that almost got Jack Boy killed. Kodak and Jack Boy met when they were both living in the Golden Acres Projects in Pompano Beach, Florida. Yeah, There's yeah. There's not an opportunity out there for four kids living in the hood. My dog, so definitely. When my dog was younger, he definitely looked Haitian. He still looked Haitian now, but he looked Haitian, Haitian. Like, hey, it was... <laughs> Pumping up Florida, hey, them boys down there, they ball. They they ball. Football, basketball, anything they do. How far is that from Tally? It's I believe Pompano Beach is like that's it's Four not, hours? Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna lie, but I believe it's it's close by Orlando. No that's Opaka. When that's I hear y'all beaches That's I'm down though, that's down that's a little bit further down. I'm gonna say about four or six hours, because usually beaches from y'all like four or six hours. It's probably a little bit more. It, I think Pompano Beach is by. You can look it up. It's, I think it's by. Um, okay. It gotta be closer by Miami. It don't matter. I think so. But yeah, them. Hey, them boys down there real. <laughs> legit. I play with them boys. Hey, they play with grills. <laughs> hey, legit. Kodak and Jack Boy met when they were both living in the Golden Acres Projects in Pompano Beach, Florida. There's not a lot of opportunity out there for four kids living in the hood. So Kodak and Jack Boy were both about up being active in the streets early. Kodak was always rapping and would go to a local trap house after school to record music. But at the same time, he was neck deep in the trenches. He got kicked out of school for fighting and got booked for stealing the whip when he was still in middle school. And He's after in the that, blood. he really started going hard in the pool. Kodak joined a rap crew called Brutal Youngings when he was just 12 years Look old. Look how young he was. I was say, I ain't even, let's see, I ain't even know that. Look how young he was. He ain't got no choice but to be the type of person he is. Golly, he was born into that shit. <laughs> he got kicked out of school for fighting and got booked for stealing the whip when he was still in middle school. And after that, he really started going hard in the booth. Kodak joined a rap crew called Brutal Youngings when he was just 12 years old. And a few years later, he came out with his first solo project called Project Baby. The tape got a little buzz on his name. But Kodak's real break happened in 2015 after Drake posted a video where he was dancing the act song Skirt. But even after Kodak started making waves in the industry, he's been in and out of jail ever still since. Cool? Jack Boy started getting booked at a young age too. He hopped off the porch, started breaking into houses, and getting into credit card fraud. And when he was around 14 years old, he got sent to juvie for four years. A lot of fans don't know how tight Kodak and Jack Boy really were before all the beef started. According to Jack Boy, Yak was the only person besides his own mom who was holding him down while he was locked up. During an IG live session from back in the day, 
Jack Boy said Yak is the only dude who ever checked in on him while he was locked up and put money on his books. Now, let me tell y'all that was doing here. 14. This nigga was right in me every week, y'all. At a 14 juvenile program, you can't send no money at that point. Him and my mom, the only person that sucked me money. Jack Boy came home from Juvie, and Kodak was already working hard on getting the trap. This is what I was talking about in that but video. Instead of opening in the booth, Jack Boy ended up back in the streets and went down with a four year prison sentence. While Jack Boy was behind bars, Kodak was on his way up in the rap game. He signed a deal with Atlantic Records and started a sniper gang label. Kodak was working with massive artists and was featured on the Double XL freshman class in 2016. I that. And by the time Jack Boy got out of prison, Kodak was one of the hottest school rappers in the game. When Jack Boy came home, he hopped in the booth and started making music too. Kodak signed him to the sniper gang label and fans thought they were going to take yeah, over the industry. So Kodak brought him up. Everything yeah. was cool for a while. But then Kodak's issues with NBA Youngboy sparked a wild beef with Kodak and Jack Boy. Kodak Black and NBA Youngboy are two of the biggest rappers in the game right now. But before they were superstars, they linked up together on tracks like Water and Chosen One. Fans were rocking with the collabs. But then in 2017, Kodak allegedly sent a shot at Youngboy on the track. Time never mattered and rapped. I don't think I heard but that I hope that I don't go broke again. Nigga, I'm killing young babies. Kodak never going broke again. Nigga, you a free agent. NBA Youngboy didn't respond to the trap, but his homie Quando Rondo hopped on IG Live and burned his sniper gang oh shirt. Well, I remember that. Yeah, I did too. Affiliates posted a video pointing guns at the camera and burning NBA Youngboy merch. Kodak responded on Instagram and said he forgave Quando about the situation, though. It's alright, y'all. You know what? I forgive you, nigga, man. I forgive you, nigga, man. So I guess Quando Rondo was uh, NBA Youngboy's little pit bull. Because he couldn't, NBA Youngboy didn't respond, but Quando Rondo did. I guess so. It's no. It's alright, y'all. No I forgive you, nigga, man. <laughs> I forgive you, nigga, man. That was the after night. that, it all calmed down. When Kodak got locked up in 2019, Youngboy even dropped a track called Letter to Kodak and Raps. I've been in it for so long, but still can't get it right. Follow my heart. I'll never let no one control my life. Kodak locked up and I miss him, so I'ma send a kite. Kodak was facing some serious charges back then. He had just been arrested on a gun charge because he lied on the documents while buying guns. The judge handed down a 46 month sentence, but Yak was still facing another charge from when he got arrested at the Canadian border with a Glock. Even though he was locked up and facing major time, Kodak was still tapped into what was going down on the outside, though. And that's when his beef with Youngboy really popped off. And allegedly, when Jack Boy and Kodak fell out, too. Youngboy used to date Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Ayana, back in the day. And after they broke up, the situation got messy fast. Ayana allegedly slashed his tires, so Youngboy dropped the track, dirty Ayana, and rapped. Protect my heart. Bro, where was I with all these tracks? Because I'm sitting here like, I've never heard any of these. Like, you feel me? I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. I'm so tapped out this? on music. Like, I... I don't even be paying attention. I just be like, put on music when I was right. in high school. Hey, boy, listen, anything that drunk. Hey, bro, you heard it, bro, you heard it. Hey, what? Put, hey, I'm put just so up. tapped out. Like, what? Where all this music coming from? I'm missing. Unless I just didn't know what the part of the beef was and I just wasn't paying attention. Listen. But then when this stuff was coming out, I was in college, so. <laughs> Young boy used to date Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Ayana, back in the day. And after they broke up, the situation got messy fast. Ayana allegedly slashed his tires. I know this stuff so right here. The track, it's dirty the Ayana and raps. Protect my heart with that rock. I'm running far out your reach. I'm in as far as the stars. Mine to cancel my cars. Don't come out after dark. I say she won't leave me alone. She slashed the tires on my car. Then in 2020, Ayana showed up where Youngboy was staying and started fighting his baby mama. Dang. Youngboy security kicked her out. You remember that? But then she snuck back into the crib she, and started she fighting her again. Her. According to reports, Ayana was losing the fight, oh. so she grabbed a knife and stabbed Youngboy's baby mama. The cops got involved, and a report came out saying that Youngboy is fully cooperating with authorities. When Kodak saw the news, he hopped in the comments and aired Youngboy out over the situation. He tagged oh, okay. Youngboy and basically called him a snitch and said, shaking my head, I see him have to write you a letter. To okay, so we talking about NBA Youngboy and Kodak, but we ain't got to Jack Boy's secret. Maybe this is going to lead up to it. Yeah, I'm probably so. I was gonna say, yeah, it's probably gonna lead up to that. Shoes for you, little bro. NBA Youngboy clapped back on IG Live and started yelling at Kodak about how he's not gonna take advice from anyone who's locked up in jail. Do you need to watch me from a jail set and build my dick so bad, nigga? Nigga, bitches. 
Niggas be writing academics about me, man. I ain't telling nigga academics to post shit about me. Niggas hoes. I ain't never paid attention to a nigga. Especially from no motherfucking sale, nigga. They call that clown young boy for wanting to be like him and called him his son. But Kodak was... This, I literally just start following him on face. I mean, on Instagram because every time he make an Instagram, it, he either deactivated or is just no longer there. Ooh. And this, I think, NBA young boy. Oh, this is the longest his uh, his Instagram has been up. Locked <laughs> up. Jack boy was holding it down for Sniper Gang. It was basically the face of the label. Kodak and Jack boy have been homies since day one too. So when he beef Kodak had, Jack boy was gonna be right there with him. After NBA, does Kodak on live? Jack boy hop into the beef and start sending shots at young boy and his whole team. Look, man, I see his homeboy told him what's up, fucking a bitch. I don't worry about fucking no bitch, man. We, we was riding for him, man. This is my car, man. Get your dog a car, man. Get your dog a motherfucking car, man. It's my shit, man. I paid for it, man. <laughs> young boy ended up dropping the beef and moving on, though. And that's when the drama with Jack Boy and Kodak all started. Okay. In 2021, Kodak Black got a major break after Donald Trump rented him a pardon and got him released from jail. We know all that. excited to see Kodak back in the rap game. Yeah. But nobody was expecting what happened next. Kodak's trying to call him a snitch. Kodak's trying to send us a shots at Jack Boy a lot. And I'm the only one who could get, get us the bikini bottle. You know what I'm saying? We slide the bikini bottle. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. I'm driving a boat, though. Niggas are trying to throw me. Niggas said a bikini me, bottle. Me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know some envious shit, just, just jealous and just... Definitely start calling himself a grandma. I don't know what he fucked with me, like, I'm right? Jack Boy responded, said that Kodak needs someone to help him drive the boat. I need two drivers on my team, man. Cause it be like one driver, nigga be driving for eight, nine hours, all sleepy and shit. I know you tired, but niggas just keep on going. Like, you need somebody else to help you drive sometimes. But, I don't want no nigga driving me eight, nine hours. Nigga, know you tired. You trying to be the only person driving. Like, God damn, like, you'd rather nigga crash than somebody else driving. Jack Boy was keeping Sniper Gang running while Kodak was locked up. And rumors said that when Kodak came home, Jack Boy thought he was up some control over the label to see what... So, technically, they both held each other down when they went to jail. Well, yeah, when they both allowed up. Yeah, when Kodak was 14 and he was in jail, he put money on his books. Now, Kodak, when and he was up, he came up. Kodak came up, actually, in the game while he was locked up. He got out, put him and in put the him game. On, put him straight on the game. Yeah, yeah, put him on the game. Now, he locked up, and now he helping him. It went both ways. <laughs> so, so they probably went with Kodak was locked up. And rumors said that when Kodak came home, Jack Boy thought he was up some control over the label yeah. since he was the one holding it down while Kodak was locked up. At first, they were just sending sneak disses and had fans confused talking about who was driving the so boat. So he was trying to play big Kodak box. called Jack Boy by name on IG and wrote, just made an M off Lil Jack. Thanks, Lil Bro. And it took long enough, but that business must be stood on. Jack Boy responded by posting a Kevin Gates track called Vouch, where he raps, Put the folks in my business. Got a set court appointments. Thank God. Let me make sure I heard this right. Before I fucking say Kevin Gates track called yeah. Vouch, where he raps. Put the folks in my business. Got a set court appointments. Got a suit up for lawyers. Damn, this how we rocking. They copyrighted my name and won one million dollars. The label laughs in my face. I had to pay out of pocket. Then Kodak clapped back and said that he wasn't going to get into internet beef with anyone. And said that Jack Boy owed him money because Kodak is the only reason he has anything. It looked like things were about to get crazy. But Jack Boy went on IG Live. I ain't gonna cap. I'll be pissed off too, and I want I want all smoke too. Because how are you gonna try to come and take over my business that I started from the ground up? And I put first of all, I I wasn't obligated to put you on, and you not obligated to kiss my ass, even though you probably didn't ask. But at the end of the day, how you gonna get? How you gonna take my business? I went to jail. You supposed to hold it down like real niggas do, and you came and tried to take over shit. Yeah, I won't. I won't smoke too. <laughs> I mean, I feel he coming from, but like I said, Tess, I mean, he didn't take over the well. I take that back. Yeah, he was trying to, like he said, drive the boat. He was trying to be big boss. Yeah, he was trying to be big boss when, like I said, Kodak, the one who started Sniper. Game. I'm gonna go back, make sure I heard that right though. It was too. To that Sniper back. game, I well, I still listen to that jump, boy. <laughs> ski, ski. Then Kodak clapped back and said that he wasn't gonna get into internet beef with anyone. That's crazy. That Jack Boy owed him money because mm -hmm. Kodak is the only reason he has anything. It looked like things were about to get crazy. But Jack Boy went on IG Live, said that Kodak was his brother at the end of the day, and he wasn't gonna explain anything to the fans or feed into the drama. Nah, that's my brother at the end of the day. Everybody knows, like, as far as day one, 
Jack boy, real ass nigga. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go into detail or explain shit to nobody. Like, I don't care. Hold up, he's pressing Jack boy for some money he allegedly owed him. And he acted the disrespect to another level when he posted a video online of him throwing 100k cash into the ocean and even flushed more money Lord down damn. Then Jack boy went on IG Live and started airing Kodak out. Back in 2019, the rap game was shocked when Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed outside his marathon store in South Central LA. His death had a major impact on everyone. And that's why people were surprised when Kodak made some wild comments about Nipsey's girl. Okay, I remember that. Right after Nipsey died, Kodak was on IG Live and said that Lauren was going to be single and he was down to smash, but that he would give her a year to cry. <laughs> If anybody got any type of respect for Nipsey, you'll know that's very disrespectful. Yeah, he was on a that one. The backlash on Kodak was I can't wild. forget that one. And even stars like T.I. hop into the situation to check him over it. Kodak Black. You got a pocket, nigga. Yeah, you can't forget that. Mm -hmm. I think a few people came out. Expeditiously. But according to Jack Boy, Kodak wasn't just getting pressure from the internet. Jack Boy let Kodak join his IG live session back in 2021, and they started screaming at each other like crazy. Hey, what it is? Don't, don't, don't hang up. Don't hang up. And I'm not about to be on this lame ass. Hey, so I had your password. Let's just wrap. I had your password. Yes or no? They started off beefing about some claims Kodak made about the young boy beef. Kodak had gone live and claimed that young boy's about to sign with him. But Jack Boy started the beef because Jack Boy had Kodak's IG password. Kodak claimed that Jack Boy was the one who made the comments about a young boy cooperating with the cops during the Ayanna Mayweather situation. The boy was ready to sign the MG. That ain't no cops. That boy was ready to sign the MG. That ain't no cops. Burger on some shit. Nigga was close to my shit. Even when I was in prison, nigga had my Instagram. Nigga had my Instagram. Yeah, he told me you were gonna post it. But it didn't make any sense because you know what? Kodak and Young Boy. I believe I, I kind of believe Kodak because I remember that time when he was on that shit and somebody was on his live recording him. Yeah, trust me, I know that. He didn't <laughs> post that shit. That was <laughs> like, that was when he talking right now. It's like I was saying, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to say nothing, but like I said, I'm I'm, I'm kind of like putting shit together because yeah, he was I knew he was talking about he was sitting there, he was saying all that crazy shit, sitting there looking like crazy. He, he was on some stuff. No, he was on people, some. And whoever was his friend around him had they, his phone. It wasn't his was friends. On, but that's it, his friends was around him. They was on his live recording him, so it makes sense somebody had his phone. But I mean, not saying Jack Boy wrong. Uh, not somebody right, had his fucking him, password and shit like that. He said somebody got his phone. I believe it because <laughs> they got his ass. But it didn't make any sense because the beef between Kodak and Young Boy started three years before any of that went down. Jack Boy pressed Kodak about it online. Then he claimed that he beat Kodak up back in the day. That was the only wild <laughs> shot Jack Boy took at Kodak though. <laughs> Later in the live, Jack Boy claimed that Kodak had to join a new gang in prison because of the Nipsey Hustle situation. According to Jack Boy, What about that shit? Kodak to get out of the deal. 
Wiz the Wizard said he would give Kodak the honey K to let him out of the deal. But apparently Kodak blocked him on everything, so Wiz couldn't even talk to Kodak about the situation. Kodak clapped back and said Wiz was just cloud chasing. But Wiz hopped on IG Live and said there wasn't any real beef, and they were just having some industry problems. But yeah, man, me and brother, like, that's my nigga, though, man. We ain't no crazy shit, man. Like I said, we been that deep with a phone. It ain't no crazy shit. It's just, you know, at the end of the day, business is business. It looked like Kodak and Wiz were about to squash the beef and move on. But then something shocking went down. I can't remember what I seen here, man. On September 17, 2021, Wiz the Wizard's body was found under a tarp in front of an abandoned house in Florida. Mm. Nobody saw it went down, and the police believed that he was beaten to death and that his body was dumped thereafter. The cops never booked anyone for the murder, and all kinds of crazy rumors started flying around Wiz the Wizard's death. A lot of people think he was still in the streets, even though his rap career was popping off and that the ops caught up to him. But there was another wild theory going around too that claimed Kodak was involved with the hit. There's no evidence to back it up, but this is the rumor that some people believe. After Wiz died, Kodak was giving a speech and said that he had just lost a very close friend and that he's been dealing with losses his whole life. You know, I just lost a friend, a very close friend for that. We've been friends for like over 10 years. I just lost him yesterday. He got a beautiful baby girl too. So it's like, you know, it's crazy. Um, you know, it, you know it, losing loved ones and stuff like that. It's, it's hard. Like I've been dealing with loss my whole life. It seemed like Kodak was hit pretty hard by the news. But then he dropped the track back for everything and this Wiz with the line, yeah, double M gang, but I ain't talking Rick Ross. Double M gang, I took that shit from Wiz. Rest in peace, my nigga, but it's his fault. The way you let them kill you like a jig. Talking to Wan, you saying the same? Did you like a lame? Yeah. Kodak did some Wiz like that was weird, but he tried to use the situation to squash the beef with Jack Boy. After the news broke about Wiz dying, Kodak hopped on Twitter and told Jack Boy they should use it as a wake-up call and said, Shit get real crazy quick out here, unexpectedly. And fuck this distance, love, nigga. Come give me a hug, nigga. The peace didn't last long, though. And just a couple months later, Kodak said he was gonna sue Jack Boy for breaching his contract with Sniper Gang. Uh, According to rumors, the that. real reason Kodak started beefing with Jack Boy when he got out of jail mm. is that Jack Boy signed a major deal with Empire Records while Kodak was locked up. When Kodak got home, he went live on IG and said that Jack Boy had been telling everyone he was gonna get Kodak a meal. I, I got an info when he come home. So cool. I came home early. Some niggas like, oh yeah, bro, about to come home. So them niggas had a whole bunch of money issues at this point. Post, nigga move. <laughs> now say nigga move, nigga just go against range, huh? At the same time, Jack Boy had allegedly signed a deal with Empire and was buying Lambos and flexing his cash. Kodak said he never made a dime off Jack Boy and would have been happy if Jack Boy just bought him a watch or something. I never made a dime off shit. They could have bought me a watch, huh? But Jack Boy aired his side out on live and said he tried to give Kodak 300k. Kodak said it wasn't enough. I got 300 racks for you. This fuck nigga had the audacity to be like, oh, no, nah, that ain't enough. What you running out of money? What you ain't have emotion, big guy? 300,000 not enough? According to him, he thought he was going to have more time to get a meal for Kodak because Yak was supposed to be locked up for four years. So when he came home early after just two years in prison, Jack Boy didn't have the full meal ready for him, but still tried to make sure he was good. The situation got messy, and then Kodak claimed Jack Boy was trying to sue him. Jack Boy clapped back and aired Kodak out for saying he misses him online and then acting different behind the scenes and in person. Kodak went on the Big Facts podcast in March 2022 and said he didn't know how the situation was going to work out. You know, I love that little nigga, man. I want to never, like, gave a nigga the opportunity to, 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 to like, to shine with me. They be nigga. crazy. Shine with my They're like my phone. Open my platform to you if it wasn't no love. Then a few months later, Jack Boy did an interview with DJ Academics and gave some more details about the situation. I guess the, the beef started, I was in prison when the beef started. I was in prison in Virginia, and I guess nigga burnt the boxes or some shit. That was how the beef started. Like, a nigga burnt your boxes. That ain't my merch, nigga, you know what I'm saying? So now you posting and you got people posting on your page, all type of wild shit, and then you trying to say, oh, Jack. Jack Boy also told academics. I uh, on the contract, I, I guess it said twenty five hundred. My dumb ass, you know, I'm young. I'm thinking you my homeboy. I ain't read not one word. I ain't asked for no lawyer. I ain't. I just signed. Like, like this my nigga. I'm good. Like, I know I'm good. So I just signed. Boom. But later, Jack Boy realized how bad he got played. 
According to Jack Boy. I got meals now. You should be happy for that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You should be like, bro, you what the fuck? Like, you know we was broke. You know me when zero dollars in my pocket. You know that. So if anything, you should be like, what the fuck, bro? Like Do you think there's might be jealousy towards your success? Yeah, because I've I always know been silent to an know artist. It is. I know it is. And it's and I learned that in life. But talking about the beef with academics wasn't enough, and Jack Boy had to respond on record too. Kodak dropped the track Super Gremlin, <laughs> took shots at Jack boy with the bar we could have been superstars remember when we was jacking cars now it's not safe for you you switch like a pussy little bitch damn my nigga you tripping so jack boy clapped back with a remix of jay-z's track renegade they, they both with that nigga both fuck you with your little game i've been a thug you just doing it for the fame lame with a name you ain't z you bought your way in boy you ain't no killer you be crying when you get caged in never been on pc I'm in population with murderers. I was repping your brand, going hard, making sure they heard of us. There were rumors that Kodak even blocked Jackboy from performing at Rolling Loud after they started beefing. And Jackboy aired it out and raps. Had to counter suit. You trying to block motion. Want me to be signed to you. Told Rolling Loud, y'all let him come, then I'm not going to be coming through. Hating on my success, hoping that people don't go and work with me. Then he went after Kodak for playing his own artist and said, You've been a bitch. You try to pull stunts with Wham and Wes. Yeah. You the only nigga I know that get mad when they artists lit. You the only nigga faking, acting like you about to spin. Yo ass a federal agent, protected by the president. Then at the end of 2022, Jack Boy said he wanted to box Kodak in the ring and put two mil on the line. I will put up two million right now to fight Yak in the ring. The boxing match never went down though, and fans are thinking the beef had calmed down. But it turns out that in January 2023, I will put up two million right now to fight Yak in the ring. The boxing match never went down though, and fans are thinking the beef had calmed down. But it turns out that in January 2023, it almost got Jack Boy killed. On January 16, 2023, Jack Boy performed a show in Sanford, Florida, at a spot called the Barn. The show went down without any drama. That. But Jack Boy had no idea that a huge crew of shooters were waiting to catch him outside. Mm. After the show, six whips full of dudes from a Florida gang called On Top Forever or OTF pulled up and started letting off shots into the Sprinter van they thought Jack Boy was riding it. They were using high-powered rifles with armor-piercing rounds to make sure they got the job done. But it turns out they hit up the wrong van. The van they shot up was just full of innocent people who didn't have any connection to Jack Boy. Yeah. Six of them got hit up, and one woman was tragically killed. About a year after the shooting went down, news broke that the cops thought it was related to Kodak and Jack Boy's beat. At first, people on the news were trying to tie Kodak to the shooting and made it sound like he might have put a bag on Jack Boy's head. But that's not how it went down, according to the cops. The likely motive for the incident stemmed from a very public, high-profile dispute playing out on social media and in the court system involving Jack Boy and a known associate of the shooters, another rap artist, Bill Capri, known by the stage name Kodak Black. The police think they were trying to get some clout by killing Jack Boy. But instead, an innocent woman ended up dead. Jack Boy told Angela Yee in an interview that he got in touch with the woman's family and the whole situation had a big effect on him. Jack Boy said that growing up, he got used to people getting shot and killed. But talking to the woman's dad made him realize how tragic the whole thing was and it was the first time he felt really bad about someone he didn't know dying. That wasn't the only time someone tried to take Jack Boy out though. In December 2023, Damn. someone pulled up to Jack Boy's crib and shot a dude three times who was standing outside. When the shooting went down, oh, I rumors were flying that Jack Boy had been hit up and was in critical condition. But then Jack Boy hopped online immediately to let everyone know the story was cat. <laughs> After the news broke that Jack Boy was okay, <laughs> everyone started saying that his brother was the one who got shot and had to be airlifted to the hospital. But nobody really knows who the victim was. Cops say Jack Boy was the target and they ended up booking two dudes for the shooting. It's not clear why they wanted to kill Jack Boy, but it was a wild hit because they slid into a gated community to get at him, even though there were cameras everywhere. On top of that house, Luckily, Jack Boy has been staying out of drama lately, but Kodak's been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Fans have been worried about him for a while after Kodak started looking like he was having some serious drug issues. Kodak went on Dream mm -hmm. Champs in October 2023, and after the show came out, all kinds of people were saying he needed help. Fans were worried, and Ray J even said that people need to stop interviewing Kodak and somebody should step in and get him some help instead. Then Kodak clapped back and said he put hands on Ray J and that he didn't need any help. The video was crazy though, because while Kodak was saying he didn't need help, it looked like he started a line in the middle of the ramp. A couple yeah, months later, 
Kodak got busted for drug possession after the cops found him passed out in his whip. Rumors were that he got caught with cocaine, but Kodak said he was just high on lean. Kodak admitted that he pops perks too, but he was prescribed them after getting shot in the leg back in 2022. I was on the lean, I was sleeping in front of my family house, bro. That's it. I tell God himself I do perks. I understand shit like that, but that man, then I'm through with my medicine prescribed to me. I will honestly say that, like, as, as, my, like, even before I had got, got, got shot and I had got prescribed to it, to him again and shit like that. Kodak told fans he had already spent 350k on rehab trying to get better. But when he got out of jail on the drug charge, Kodak made headlines again for the like a reporter who was trying to interview him. It's not clear if he's going to get hit with any charges for that situation, but Kodak is still facing a drug trafficking case from some charges he picked up in 2022. Jack Boy hasn't been sending any shots at Kodak for a while, and when Angela Yee asked him about the situation, it was clear that Jack Boy didn't really want to talk about anything. <laughs> he like, I don't want to talk about him at all. Like, good. All right. Jack Boy told Angela Yee that he's focused on positivity right now. So even if Jack Boy is still beefing with Kodak, it's clear he's not going to be dropping any more diss tracks right now. There's still a chance that Kodak and Jack Boy can squash everything and move on. But if the beef keeps going, I it's probably only a matter of time before stuff gets dangerous again. <laughs> that shit need to be dead. A verbo? That need to be dead. They need to help each other at this point. <laughs> that need to they be dead. They definitely do. Yeah, I need Sniper game back. Yeah, that was legit. One don't come running by themselves. I guess they just don't want to run into it. If it ain't ran together, they ain't running at all, huh? Yeah, I guess somebody want to be the top dog, but I mean, he made it all. He should just, I don't know. I don't know. It was a whole. It was a whole lot. It wasn't just one thing. It was multiple issues with, with, with the with AB. It wasn't just one thing. It was multiple issues. So I know. <laughs> Like I said, like I said, it really started when they burned his merch, which is crazy for me because, I mean, they didn't have shit to do with him. It was, it was really, like I said, even though there was this merch, he was really targeted towards Kodak. But, hey. But if, if y'all like that video and y'all want to see more of those videos, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and like, hit that like button. Go ahead and comment down in the comment section what other reactions y'all like to see from us. Please yeah. do, please do. Make sure you go friends, to friends, to friends, and your mama and daddy's cousin, side niggas, side chicks, all of them to subscribe to the channel. Tell them all. We're going to go hold y'all. We'll see y'all next banger. Y'all for games. Out. Peace. Peace.